Hi guys, uh, thanks for all the comments on the first uh, knife thrown video I done. Um, I got a few requests by email uh, asking about what distance I throw at, the difference between say half spin and full spin, and the grips. So uh, this video is just basically running through more, a little bit more detail, maybe throwing a kind of one one spin, maybe one and a half spin, and two spin, and give you an idea of the grips and the distance and how to gauge them. Everyone has their own kind of technique. Uh, you know what would work for me won't work for someone else, but the principles are more or less the same. If you kind of follow a t few things, and, and it, it should help you out in your throne. Uh, so I hope this video helps. Thanks very much, guys. Okay, I'm just going to run through uh, a little thing on uh, grips. Basically, there's you know a few different grips that you can use. The grip I like to use is rather than say like some people call this like a bouquet, like you're holding a bouquet grip. I kind of do like uh, like you're really kind of shaking someone's hand. You're just placing the, the knife in to that position, just nice and relaxed. What I try to do is the very butt end of the blade, it's nearly kind of sitting in the palm, and then you're just wrapping around nice and easy. And I find that the best for me to throw. I find it the best, same as if I'm doing, um, say, one and a half spin. You have to throw from the, the blade, it's the same thing into the center, and then just nice and relaxed grip, like shaking hand grip. What you could call it. Um, for about 10 feet, you'd be thrown from the handle, and then as you move back, then different stages it changes to one and a half spin from the blade back to two spin from the handle. I don't really throw too much uh, half spin, it's very close to the board, I don't know, maybe four foot away, and you throw that from the blade. So the next step back, which is about 10 or 11 foot, depending on how you throw, is a handle grip, and that's what I just use, it's just a relaxed grip. Uh, so if you want to give that a go um, and try, as I said, some people throw that and then you go no spin throw. That's getting more into uh, detail throwing. But um, try that one anyway. That's the best one I like. Basically, put the, butt of the the blade in the centre of your palm and just nice and relaxed grip around that. Okay. Okay. We're moving on to um, your distances when you're throwing. The best thing to do is maybe start off with you know in around 10 foot away from your target board. Normally the target board is up around chest height. This is a bit shorter because there's a, a slope in my garden. But basically, have a couple of goals thrown at the board and see what's happening. Um, this configuration here is basically the top one here. If the point or if the, the butt of the blade is sticking upwards, that means that it over rotated. Okay? So what you need to do maybe is move in a little bit closer. Just like the bottom one here, it didn't, over -ro it didn't rotate over. So you imagine the blade is coming in, it's not getting time to, to rotate, and that's why it's pointing down. You need to move back a little bit so you can get a full rotation. The best way is, you know, the idea is to kind of get them as straight as you can. You're not going to get them perfectly straight, but if one is sticking straight up, you know the reason, and if it's sticking straight down, you know the reason. You know, rule of thumb is, if if it's up, move forward. If it's down, move when back. You start off on your first throw. You're going to be using handle throw. Okay. So as I said, judge about ten foot. The best thing to do is to get a nail and just some tape. Okay. So what you do is, stick it in the ground at 10 foot, and you throw. Then whether your handle is up or down, will give you the idea whether you need to move forward or move back. And you can move the peg until you get your right uh, position for throwing. Same as you move back, a couple of feet, try handle throw, or sorry, blade throw, and see how it goes from there. Same thing again, you can adjust the peg back and forth. Once you get your distances, rather than having to come back out and do all that again, when you're going to throw, maybe in your own place or somewhere else. Some people get a um, string or twine and line it out down the line, and where your peg is, just mark it, or tape it as well, because what you can do is you can roll the, the piece of twine or rope or whatever up in your bag with your knives, and you, they can travel with you wherever you want, so it's only a matter of doing then is throwing out the rope from the target, putting your pegs in, and you have the same distance all the time. With throwing as well, you have to be consistent. There's no point in you going up and throwing real hard on your first throw with a flick and then your second throw is a lob throw because you're not going to be consistent. The main thing with throwing I find is that you have to throw the same power, same position, same pe technique and follow in. Then you start hitting your uh, positions. Then you can start narrowing in whether you're hitting too high or hitting too low or side to side. You can start moving in and the idea is everything will scope in to try to get kind of more of a, a central uh, hit every time whether you're going uh, for competitions or whatever you want to. You just want to throw just for fun. But um, 
I hope that helps. We're going to do a bit of throwing and we'll give you an idea which way it works and you can go from there. Any more questions, just uh, email me. I'll leave it at the end of the video. Okay, we'll try um, handle only from one spin. Uh, so that's one full rotation. We'll try from you know, 10 foot. Okay, as you can see, the last two I threw are dropped down, so I need to move it back a slight bit. You won't count the distance. So I move my peg back a slight bit, not too much, just a small bit at a time. Let me try again. Whether you can see, we'll just bring the camera up a little bit. That's there, a little bit more straight. So that's just by adjusting it a small bit, we've uh, we've sorted out that problem. Okay, we'll try back maybe from blade throw, one and a half spin, which is about I don't know if that's ten, maybe thirteen feet. We'll give that a bash and see how that works out. Around 14 feet, blade, grip, okay? That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Slightly up on the last tree. I would say that might have something to do with the, the wind on it. Um, Alright guys, I hope that um, helps you out uh, with some of your trying. Dog next door barking his head off. Um, as I said, I hope that helps uh, with your throwing. Just remember, around 10 feet for handle throw, and move back maybe 2 3 feet throw from the blade. Um, and as I said, keep a consistent uh, pace and speed that you're throwing at. As I said, if you're throwing at all different powers, you're going to be hitting all over the place, you're not going to know. So try to kind of keep a fluid motion. And you should be fine. If there's any more problems, sure, uh, drop me an email, and I'll try to either email you back and help you out or come out and throw on the board. As for boards lads, these are just uh, a scaffolding plank cut into three and just nailed onto some chipboard. And that's all I use. Some people use rounds like uh, sections out of tree stumps. Uh, mainly soft woods rather than half wood, hard woods because we're just bouncing the, the blades off them. Um, I hope this helps and uh, as I said if you need any more help give me an email. Thanks for watching.